Did you know that after the World War II, plants were bombarded with radiation to produce useful mutations known as atomic gardening, which resulted in today's peppermint and red grapefruit? Hello, welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. This tutorial is on Chapter 29, Section 3, Radioactivity. So atoms undergo radioactive decay to become stable. In this lesson, we are going to look into the mathematical part of radioactivity. Hence, this tutorial will cover the following objectives. Define and calculate the decay rate, the decay constant, the number of present nuclei, and the half-life of a radioactive sample. The first concept that involves computation for this lesson is the decay rate. Now the decay rate or activity which is symbolized by the letter R is defined as the number of decays per second so we have the equation R or the absolute value of delta N over delta T is just equal to lambda N and where n is the number of radioactive nuclei at some instant and lambda is a constant for a given substance and it is called the decay constant the greater the value of the decay constant that means that the nuclei decays faster whereas when the lambda is or the decay constant is small this means that the radioactive nuclei decays slowly now this equation tells us that the number of particles that decay in a given time is proportional to the number of particles in a radioactive sample and by the way the unit of lambda is decays per second once again this is the equation for the decay rate moving on it was experimentally observed that the number of nuclei present decays exponentially over time and it is governed by this equation so we have n is equal to n sub naught e raised to the power of negative lambda t where n is the number of radioactive nuclei present at a specific time t and n sub 0 is the initial number of nuclei e is 2.718 which is the base of natural logarithms and our lambda over here is still the decay constant Moving on, manipulating the previous equation, n is equal to negative n sub 0 e raised to the power of negative lambda t would lead us to another very important concept in nuclear physics which is called half-life. Now the half-life or denoted by a symbol t sub 1 half of a radioactive substance is the time required for half of a given number of radioactive nuclei to decay. The half-life is related to the decay constant lambda by the equation half-life is equal to uh, ln2 divided by the decay constant and ln2 is approximately equal to 0 0.693 so we have half-life would be equal to 0 0.693 divided by the decay constant and the unit of half-life is seconds now let's talk about more on the units that will be used for the computations and the quantities in this concept so we come first with the unit of activity R it is actually expressed in Curie which is a symbol CI now 1 Curie is just equal to 3.7 times 10 to the negative 10 decays per second the unit was selected as the original activity unit because it is the approximate unit of one gram of radium now the SI unit of activity is the Becquerel or the um, international system unit for activity or radioactive decay is Becquerel and that's just equal to one decay per second therefore that leads us to one Curie 
is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the power of, ne of 10 becquerel. The most common units used in the activity are millicurie or 10 to the power of negative 3 and microcurie which is 10 to the power of um, negative 6. So millicurie may be symbolized as MCI. This is millicurie whereas microcurie would be uh, micro CI that is micro Curie at this point I need you to go to WebAssign and do the task entitled radioactivity that concludes this tutorial once again always remember physics is easy with mr. Jesse